What is up guys, this is DRock over at One Hive 2.0 slash Invicta with your next war recap for Invicta. So, um, after the last war we got matched up with another um, decent Brazilian clan. Um, this time it worked out in our favor, we won relatively handily, uh, 72 to 66. So, they did use most of their attacks um, and they did fight pretty hard, so I will give them the respect of going through our bases. Um, no signs of real modding from this clan, so, you know, I, we do give them the respect of putting up a fight. Um, and it was a very nice war. Um, from this war, I'm going to show three attacks. Um, two Queen Walks and a Goho. Um, very nice job by us, and I love seeing these uh, Queen Walks. They seem really overpowering. But um, before I do, I'm going to get into our only Goho, and this is by our... Member Freddy, he's been on a tear lately. He's going to come in with a, a shattered um, Golan entry from the top. And the reason why I love this attack so much is the hog pathing. But to start it off, he gets his funnel created, his two Golems down, takes care of the trash, a couple Wizzies on one side, and then a couple other Wizzies on the bottom, wall breakers to break in, and as soon as that happens, one Golem goes in. And I believe once this mortar goes down, the other golem is going to reroute. Nice and patient here with his his king drop. He hasn't even dropped him yet. He doesn't want to waste his life. Um, he did have to worry about a level 30 queen, so that is something um, that relatively impressed me. But the main thing about this attack that I liked was the hog deployment. So he gets, I believe he gets one trigger with the kill squad. Maybe not at all, but... The way he sent in his hogs here, so it was like an, a mini surgical Asian wall for that side. Um, the heel could have been a little bit down south, but the way he hogged his, uh, past his hogs, um, it didn't matter. So he has a few hogs going around uh, counterclockwise around the base, making sure that they all just path efficiently through the middle of the base and don't cut outside. And now here he's going to drop his his uh, second heal and the way he sent his hogs in they only triggered one at a time so that was beautiful I really liked it and at this point there are only a few defenses left and he still has a heal in the bag it would have been nice to see him hold on to that poison and use it on the skeletons here but um, because of his hogs are over the heal it didn't matter those hogs are going to turn on the skeleton and then the king and then clean up the time is happening so very nice attack Freddy really enjoyed it uh, keep up the good work buddy and now we can just talk about random things. I am going on vacation. I'm going to Montreal um, and Maine coming up, so I will have a, a little bit of a break here with some videos. I'm going to see if I can get in as many as I can. I don't think I, I should miss any, but in case I miss a war, um, that is why. Um, the next attack that we're going to be showing is by Sandwich Thief, and this is the Queen Walk Go Lalo. So, really like this attack. Um, he starts with the queen, or actually no, he doesn't start with. This is the wrong attack. Sorry guys. But the um, the one that I want to show was by Sandwich Thief, but it was on number thirteen. Okay, so he does a he does this another um, queen walk, and you know that last attack he did get a three star, so um, shout out to Sandwich Thief for getting a six star war. Very nice job. He Drops his queen with two archer, uh, two healers, and a minion at the top to get that cheap uh, funnel break there, so his queen doesn't end up walking on him. He wants to hit these defenses one at a time, which he does for the most part, except for here the archer tower is going to lock on to her, and then once she once she takes out that gold storage, she's going to bump up a little bit, and she's going to be in range of that cannon. Um, actually, it must be after um, that elixir storage goes down. Um, and the thing that was crazy about this attack, if you if you notice her health, her health right there, is going to be going down, going down, going down. Oh, now he she's in the range of the cannon. Queen's health is going down. I probably would have phased her up at this point, but he's nice and patient. Didn't use her queen ability. I thought the patience on that was immaculate. And still here, her queen's health is going down so low, but he still doesn't pop it. So anticipation was risky, but it paid off at the end. Now when his queen's already taken out about 20% of the base, he starts dropping his golems, and is going to enter into that little corner pocket of the base. Um, 
I really love the, the jump placement here, so that's going to connect uh, pretty much three compartments. Uh, it's going to connect the, the Expo and Wizard Tower compartment, that bottom compartment, and the core to the Queen and the Town Hall. Uh, poison spells used to soften up that dragon, get the Wizard, and soften up the Loon as well. Queen still up. Um, healing for the for the king, so uh, that was very nice that the, the healers were able to last that long. Um, now it's time for the Lalo. So the nice angle here with his hounds and his loons to make sure that he's soaking up as many traps and pushing everything in as best as he can. He has a haste there because he doesn't need the extra power for those loons down there. Um, rage in the core to get the, the higher HP buildings, and he's just passing his loons perfectly. Look out! Look at that big wad of loons left. I'm not sure if he gets the. He still has two of his hounds pop, so he didn't. He only had one hound pop in that raid, and but at this point he still has his healers up on her on his queen. So I absolutely wreck this base. I'm going to fast forward because it is all over but the crying. Um, beautiful job. I love this attack. Uh, so keep it up, buddy. And the last attack, we're going to show another one, and that is by, uh, who was it? Fireman, Greenman, I don't believe it was Fireman, actually. Yeah, so this is another Queen Walk, but it is a hog version of it. Um, he starts with the Golem, and then on the left side, he drops the healer. So the interesting part about this Queen Walk is that I wasn't sure, if, I'm not sure if he tried to do this, or if it was by accident, but he ends up letting the queen walk around the other side, the opposite side of the base, and sorry about that. And his kill squad is just gonna go into the middle here with the wizards, his witches, and his king to just get the queen. Um, he burns a, a rage spell right there to let his witches get out front. He didn't I'm not sure if this was a cleanup attack or not, or if he knew it was a hound. If if he knew it was a hound and it was a cleanup, I probably would have brought um, you know, I would have lured and then dropped a couple archers and a healer somewhere around the base. Um, but either way, he's already taken out the queen, and at this point, I believe he's going to start bringing the, the hogs. He's triggered one double set, so he only has to worry about the other one, and he has devastated our, already about 43% of the base. So, very nice job. He still has his queen's ability, uses that. And then here come the hogs from about 12 o'clock, and it's just one big group. So the pathing, the way it works, is going to go from the mortar to the archer tower. Uses a heal, could have used it a little bit later because there wasn't much uh, damage coming to him at that point. Um, his hogs do split, so um, it could have been nice to maybe do a little bit of a surgical. But he still has another heal in the bag. His healer ends up getting on the hogs and keeping those up, so beautiful on that. Um, whether he meant to or not, it doesn't matter. Um, the Hound is doing nothing. Um, it hasn't popped yet, which is perfect. If it would have popped, those hogs would have started melting, but the um, Hound is still up and those hogs cannot target it. So that's just going to be doing nothing to those hogs the entire time. And now, there's only one Tesla to go, and after that is cleanup. So, I'm going to start fast-forwarding here. Um, but, love the attack. It was uh, beautiful. I, I loved the, the healers getting on the hogs. I thought that was that was nice. Um, so, great job, Fireman. Keep it up. He's a relatively new core member. So, uh, well, very late welcome, but welcome anyways. And, uh, and cheers, guys.